Many people are still under the misconception that Lexus cars are stupidly expensive, overpriced and not worth to buy. However, in recent years, Lexus Malaysia has managed to offer great value for money for its customers and managed to price their products competitively. Take for example this Lexus RX. It is not the most expensive car within its class, yet it's fully imported and comes with great amount of features. So in today's video, I'm going to help you decide whether this Lexus RX is your next perfect car. Download the official Wipecar app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store now. Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Wipecard Online and I'm all about the details. This is the Lexus RX 300F Sport, the range topping model priced at 424,000 ringgit. And as you can see, it's quite a fair bit cheaper compared to the BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE. Although, it is only slightly more expensive compared to the locally assembled Volvo XC90. Now, I think that the RX is the best looking SUV among its class rivals simply because I think it looks so majestic, especially when it is finished in this F Sport trim. So the F-Sport trim adds some unique touches such as this honey chrome spindle grille on the front, massive 20 inch alloys, blacked out side mirrors as well as an F-Sport exterior body kit. Personally, I think that all RX should be finished in this white Nova glass flake because it just makes the entire car pop. Just looks so majestic and looks so good on the road. In 2019, Lexus has updated the model naming of the RX 200T to RX 300 as you can see from the batch here just to streamline their model names a little bit. Now the RX 300 F Sport is equipped with a hands-free power tailgate. You have a key in your pocket, do a sweeping motion underneath the rear bumper and it opens up. I have to say that the motorized tailgate, the Moto, is one of the quietest one I've experienced. And then it opens up to 453 litres of boot space. You have a tonneau cover. If you ever need more space, you can fold the rear seats down via a button right here. Underneath here, space saver spare wheel. Come, let's check out the interior. First thing in the RX. Comfort access. Oof. Now, stepping inside to the cabin of the RX immediately, some of you may think that ah, it looks a little bit dated. You know, there's a lot of buttons here, very chunky in the center, not a lot of things to play with or look at. However, I feel that this is Japanese craftsmanship at its finest. Every touch point in here are draped in soft touch, high quality materials. Sitting position is just spot on. And even the carpets in here are quite thick and very comfortable. Key highlights inside the camera with the RX include this instrument cluster, very nice to look at, unique to the F Sport. There's a center ring with your LCD tachometer. The side is where your driving information, however, uh, it's very Toyota like. The center here gets a floating 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system with the Lexus trackpad. You know, as we all know, it's not the best and most intuitive system to use. It's just a little bit difficult at times. But my worst gripe with this infotainment system is that when you connect it to Bluetooth, when you want to play your Mandarin music, it doesn't read the Chinese characters. For example, you're playing your J Chow, it's just all the asterisks and stars. Not very convenient. However, uh, a walk around that is to connect to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This thing is just fine because you're still able to use the touchscreen so Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is still very intuitive. Unique touches inside the cabin of the F-Sport variant include this F-Sport 3-spoke multifunctional steering wheel with pedal shifters, very nice to hold. These 8-way power-adjusted front seats, these are the Sport seat variants in the F-Sport. Now, I kind of feel that uh, in order to give better value to these customers, Lexus Malaysia has kind of omitted some very key features inside the cabin of the RX, especially in this range topping F Sport variant. For example, you no longer get the Mark and Davidson surround sound system, you no longer get heads up display, and there's no more panoramic sunroof. When compared to its other rivals with you know premium audio heads up display as well as a sunroof, the cabin of the 
RX do feel a little bit bare bones. Now let's move on to the practicality aspects of the RX. First up, it comes with ventilated and heated seats for both front driver and passenger. However, Lexus being Lexus, they'll definitely one up everyone else. It comes with auto adjustments. I mean, come on guys, have you heard of auto vented and heated seats? This is super unique to the Lexus and I love it. Qi wireless charging tray, two cup holders, and this cup holder at the front, it uh, has an adjustment. So let's say you have a taller bottle, you're able to squeeze it all the way downwards and you push it to level it back up. One uh, designated compartment for your phone, very clever okay, you can put your wallet and over to the side you're able to fit a large size water bottle because the compartment the side door bins of the RX is um, kind of adjustable so you're able to open it up and comfortably snug your big bottle center armrest decent size this is where your uh, USB cables go to to plug into the infotainment screen and over here there's two USB charging ports but my favorite trait of the RX, the camera of the RX, is how everything is executed with elegance. It's just so quiet and smooth, for example. Seated into the back seat of the RX, I have the front seat adjusted to my usual driving position and I'm 175 cm tall. I have about four tennis balls worth of space and this is plentiful because the front seat has a little bit of an indentation to free up more knee room space in the footwell no complaints although i do wish that the front section there underneath the front seat has a little bit more space so that i can slot my feet underneath the middle passengers will have no complaints because it's a completely flat floor so you don't have to awkwardly fight for space amenities at the back here plentiful rear air vents heated seats Yes, you heard me right. Heated seats, two USB charging ports, a center armrest with two cup holders and a storage space here. You have powered reclining rear bench and my favorite, rear sun lights. Like a boss. Driving the RX and the only word that I'll use it to describe this driving experience is serenity. It's just pure bliss in here. So quiet, comfortable, refined. The RX has one of the quietest cabins that we've tested on WAP car. 65 decibels at 110 km per hour. I mean, most cars are doing 65 decibels at 60 km per hour. It's just such a joy to drive. And despite it riding on massive 20 inch alloys, having performance dampers in this range topping F Sport variant, ride quality is not at all compromised. I mean, this is more comfortable than some cars riding on 16 inch alloys. This is amazing. And Lexus have achieved this kind of premium ride quality without the use of expensive, fancy air suspension or adaptive suspension. It's just one passive setting in this RX, nothing else, and it's brilliant. But despite the right comfort, handling is not to say terrible. It still has pretty decent composure around the bends. You get good feel through the steering wheel, all wheel drive is helping. And yeah, I mean, you do feel a little bit of body roll, yes, definitely, because given the car's size and its nature, however, it doesn't feel like the car's going to topple over. Personally, I feel that if you have the budget, definitely considering getting the models with the performance dampers, which is the F-Spot model, because the difference is quite noticeable when you go over like faster bends. It just keeps the car a little bit more composed, a little bit more pliant, gives you a bit more confidence around the bends. All variants of the RX is now powered by a 2.0-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder petrol engine pushing a 235 horsepower and 350 Nm of torque paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission driving power to all four wheels. Now, Lexus Malaysia has discontinued the RX 350 variant, the one that's powered by a 3.5-litre naturally aspirated V6 petrol 
And I think that although this 2 liter turbo is a very effective powertrain at low city speeds, because you get torque from very early in the rev range. And it's also more efficient compared to the V6 petrol version. However, I feel that this RX, the nature, the character of this car, is a highway cruiser. Although there's lots of low end torque in this 2 liter turbo, I just feel that it lacks the finesse of the V6. Despite this version of the RX loses out on some key features like I've mentioned earlier like the premium audio sound system, heads up display, panoramic sunroof as well as the V6 engine. However, props to Lexus Malaysia for equipping the RX standard across all variants LSS Plus. It bundles adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keep assist, autonomous emergency braking, power collision warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross track billet. And come on guys, the BMW X5, given its price, does not even come with adaptive cruise control. So this is great. Um, important features that Lexus has opt to give to its consumers. Well, at the expense of some other bells and whistles, but that's okay. And one thing about LSS Plus is that the execution, the operation of the adaptive cruise control, the autonomous emergency braking, is very smooth, very finesse, has that Lexus touch to it. Everything is just so easy and on long distance drives, push off a button, you pull the stock here, and you just sit back and relax. Wonderful. After spending some time in the RX, it's a car that I don't want to give back. I just want to have it in my garage, use it every day, drive it every day. I mean, the essence of the RX is after a long day of work, you know, you step inside to this gorgeous cabin, sink into these ultra comfortable seats, indulge in your multimedia via Apple CarPlay, and just absolute silence. It's like that brief moment when you're driving home, you and the world are separated. You and the outside world. It's just you in your own space, pure silence, pure bliss, pure relaxation. And I guess for that, it's worth 424000 this RX. But let me know in the comment section below, among all its competitors, how would you pick? Which one is your choice? As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news, and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.